squeeze your neighbor and say guess what neighbor get ready get ready get ready from your barrenness comes life from your brokenness comes a promise from your despair comes a decision God told me to tell this church today I've been watching you for the last few months some of you have been so heavy in your spirit and you've been coming to church but you've been coming here on autopilot because your spirit has been damaged and engaged in demonic warfare I know what's been going on in the atmosphere the devil has tried to force you to forfeit the covenant and the promises of God but I came to day as a prophet to make an announcement that the promise of God concerning your life is not dead it's only been in a state of paralysis so that God can get you ready to really enjoy it for real what you saying to me preacher I'm saying that God had to kill jealousy in you and strife in you he had to kill the thing in you and would have given it to somebody else he had to kill the insecurity in you and would have caused you to believe you didn't deserve it therefore you wouldn't have enjoyed it but he told me to tell you I had to let you suffer long enough to love me more than you loved it and when I give it to you again you'll rejoice and declare if I perish I perish I'm still gonna love him I'm still gonna serve him he's still gonna be my God I feel like praying in here so grab your neighbor by the hand and say neighbor say in the name of Jesus I speak to the thing in you that has died I speak to your future I speak to your ministry I speak to the anointing on you shake their hands and say come back to life say in the name of Jesus come on back come on prophesy to them say come on come on live I stand as a prophet I'm in the valley of dry bones I'm in a dry bone season I'm like Ezekiel in this valley I see in the atmosphere all these anointed people but so many of you are frustrated but I came with the wind of God to make an announcement to blow on you can these bones live yes they can I don't know who you are or where you've been for the last six months or the last six weeks or the last six years but God told me to tell you in the next six days I'm turning your situation around and I'm speaking resuscitation I hear God say resuscitate the miracle resuscitate the blessing put your hand on your neighbor's back and say neighbor in the name of Jesus you almost went under but I pump you full of the Holy Ghost until life gets back in your belly y'all ain't praying with him y'all ain't saying nothing to him grab that person by the hand and say live 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 come on y'all push him in the Holy Ghost come on y'all open up your mouth where are the intercessors where are the prayer warriors come on y'all let's get birth the baby has been stuck in the canal there has been a forfeiture you didn't think you could produce it you didn't think you could go to the labor but I hear God say the labor will be easy but you've already gone through the pain and pregnancy now get ready one push and it's coming out somebody shout it's coming to an end I feel the rain in here can these bones live yes hear the word of the Lord I feel miracles in here somebody shout there's a turning in the room